The Minnesota Gophers are still number one coming off of their home and home series first St. Cloud last weekend. This weekend, they will face Notre Dame here at Mariucci Arena as part of the Big Ten Hockey East Challenge. Friday's game will be at 7 p.m. and will be aired on Big Ten Network, and Sunday's game will be at 4 p.m. and aired on ESPNU. Justin Clues is coming off an exciting weekend where he scored his first career hat trick and the game winning goal in Saturday's overtime win. He currently leads the team with five goals. Let's hear what Coach Lucia and the players have to say about the upcoming series. The biggest disappointment for me on Friday was just our lack of discipline. Um, I, that bothered me that uh, you know, you just can't take the amount of penalties that we, uh, we took last weekend. Uh, penalty kill has to get better. Uh, this weekend we were pretty good all year long, but then we gave up the three, or actually four on the weekend against St. Cloud, and that you know dropped our numbers quite a bit. So, you know, we have some guys that we're asking to kill that really didn't kill much last year. They have to get better at it. We're kind of a puck possession team, so if we have the puck, it's going to be difficult for them to score. But uh, I think our defense needs to improve a lot. Uh, you know, we have you know one of the best goalies in the country, and for us to give up uh, seven goals last weekend was uh, you know. Our, our defense in fours definitely did not uh, do what do what they could have. You know, if you're going to have injuries, you'd rather have now than in February and March when you're getting down to the end. So, um, I'm kind of looking forward to, to seeing some of other players in some different roles, and whether it's on the power play, whether it's on the penalty kill. Obviously, you know, not having Travis, we didn't have him on Saturday, um, and, and uh, they did a good job in that role. Uh, now losing Brady, which we lost halfway through the game. Uh, now we have the week to prepare without those guys, and we also know that we won't have them for a few weeks at the same time. But you know, the good thing is, it's not like it's season-ending injuries or anything like that. It's just, it's just part of uh, the game that you're going to have some injuries. I think uh, everyone's just going to have to step up. Uh, every D is going to have to step up their game a little bit because Shea plays. Uh, eats up a lot of ice and that same with Boyd, someone's going to have to step up on penalty kill and someone's going to have to step up on the power play. So I think uh, overall in the locker room, everyone's just got to, you know, maybe get a, give a little extra effort in practice and in games and uh, I think we'll be able to recover and uh, uh, we'll be that much better when they get back.